The candidates running to represent Colorado's 7th Congressional District, think Broomfield and Jeffco, they made some news today during their debate on 9 News. Republican Eric Odlin and Democratic State Senator Brittany Peterson are vying for the seat long held by Democratic Representative Ed Perlmutter. Peterson, uh, who's Peterson, who's known for advocating supervised drug injection sites in Colorado, said that she would not support federal funding for such sites. Odlin, who has said that he wants abortion decided at the state level, said today that he would not support Republicans' 15-week abortion ban in Congress. The two of them also had a strong disagreement over whether the U.S. is doing the right thing in Ukraine. Just throwing money at a problem and escalating a conflict that is very dangerous, I don't think is the right approach. You believe that America has escalated the conflict? I think that, that we need to be a, playing a leading role in finding a diplomatic and economic solution as qu quickly as possible. And we should be shepherding peace talks, and we've done nothing but escalate the problem. This is actually really terrifying when I think about potentially losing the uh, House majority because uh, McCarthy has committed to, uh, to taking away that funding that they're relying on right now to fight against the Russian invasion. Uh, they are on the, the forefront of defending democracy uh, abroad, and we need to continue to support the Ukrainians in this fight. Both candidates also dropped some stats about the fentanyl crisis in Colorado. Marshall Zellinger takes a look at what they claimed in this truth test. Both candidates for Congressional District 7 use stats about fentanyl, and after hearing them, they cannot both possibly be right. We are number two in the nation for fentanyl overdose deaths. We're 33rd in the nation for fentanyl overdose deaths. How can we be second in the nation in fentanyl overdose deaths and 33rd? We can't. Republican candidate Eric Odlin left out a few words. We're not number two in the nation for fentanyl overdose deaths, but one report showed Colorado having the second highest percent increase between May 2019 and May 2021. That was behind Alaska. The report was from a group called Families Against Fentanyl, and the group uses a variety of date ranges to provide differing fentanyl stats, which is not ideal because each stat is apples to oranges. Democratic candidate Brittany Pedersen's claim of being 33rd in the nation, that comes from the same Families Against Fentanyl report. Her stat is based on May 2020 to May 2021, so half of what Audlin was referencing. And her stat is based on deaths per capita. That means being able to compare states equally regardless of their population. Per capita, Colorado ranked 33rd in fentanyl deaths from May 2020 to May 2021. Bottom line, say the stat right and cite the time frame. Stats can be used to prove any point if you use a timeline that helps you make that point. With this truth test, Marshall Zellinger, 9 News. We have hosted four political debates so far this month with two more on the way. Next up is the Secretary of State's race on Monday. Democratic Secretary of State Janet Griswold and her Republican challenger Pam Anderson will debate on next at 6 p.m. Monday. And then on Friday, our hour-long Senate debate at 7 o'clock. If you would like to see the full 7th Congressional District debate, along with our previous debates in the Treasurer's Race, Attorney General's Race, or Colorado's new 8th Congressional District, text the word DEBATE to 303-871-1491. We'll send you the link.